Hey everyone, it's Chad Waite here with AvantLink.com. Doing our next screencast in our how-to series. This one is for merchants and taking a look at how to compose effective affiliate emails, which is uh, what I would consider to be one of the most important parts about program management here over AvantLink. So let's get started and kind of dive into the real three key points on how to effectively compose uh, affiliate emails. Uh, so the first one is going to be length and content. Um, I'm sure if you're like anybody else here, you're probably getting bombarded with a million different emails every single day. And so that kind of leads me to the first point, and that's to make the emails very short and to the point. Affiliates just want to see what new uh, you know, promotions you have or what's going on in your program and keep it to that. Um, you can see right below that it says branded headers are fine, but focus on the content. And we have a lot of merchants who spend a lot of time de designing these HTML templates that look really good and have a lot of visual content on them. But the point is, that is very secondary to the actual content itself. And those type of emails can be just as effective as a couple sentences with the new promotions that you have going or any new updates in your program. And you don't have to spend a lot of time developing these really good looking email templates. Um, so like I said, branded headers are fine, but make sure you focus on the content first and foremost. You'll see below that it says include promos. This is the big one. Um, any email that goes out to affiliates should include new promotions. Do you have a new sale going on? Do you have um, some new coupons or a new product that you want to get out there? Make sure you include these. Uh, this is so important, in fact, that we've actually added a really easy way to include these new promotions on the email interface. You can actually drop down this box here that you'll see and it will not only put in the new promotion for affiliates but it'll also give them a little get um, get the advertisement HTML link so they can access the ad right through their email. Super effective. You want to make sure that you're including any new promotions anytime that you're sending out an email. Um, the next one is to utilize email tags, and these are really nice because it makes email a little bit more personal. Um, you can see the drop-down box here. It says first name, last name, full name, commission, and login URL. And you can select any one of these to put in the information specific to that affiliate. You can see the example um, in the email. Uh, it says hello, first name, and that would obviously be filled with the affiliate's first name. So the two really important ones here include promotions and utilize email tags. Those are essential for any email that's, that's being sent out to your, uh, to your affiliates. Now lastly, we want to look at consistency here. You want to make sure that you're sending these emails out in a consistent and, and rather predictable manner. Uh, you don't want to be kind of all across the board, be absent for two months, and then all of a sudden send out three emails in one week. You want to make sure that um, you know, as sales are coming through and as new promotions are coming through, you want to be consistently up updating your affiliates, so make sure that you're consistent with your emails. Uh, next we're going to be looking at affiliate groups. Um, when you compose an email, you have the option of sending it to three different classes of people. You can address all affiliates, you can address certain groups of affiliates that you've tagged, or you can address individual affiliates. Um, generally, emails should address all affiliates, especially if you have any new promotions. Um, but say that you do have certain promotions or maybe certain products that will work better with certain groups of affiliates, that's when you can go in and send it to that certain group of affiliates that you've tagged. Um, like I mentioned before, emails can even be sent out on an individual level, so if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one contact. Uh, keep in mind that all of these, however, have approval times. Um, if you're sending an email out to all affiliates um, and certain groups of affiliates, your email will need to be approved. And the people here at AvantLink will approve your email, make sure all the grammar is correct and that your promotions are looking right. Um, so keep that in mind, and keep in mind that generally if you uh, make an email, say, on a Friday afternoon. It probably won't be approved till Monday morning, so keep that in the back of your mind. Individual emails, however, uh, do not need to go through an approval, so if you're emailing just a specific affiliate, you uh, don't have to worry about any approval times. Uh, finally, scheduling, and this is really important, especially with bigger, um, bigger busier times of the year is coming up. Uh, schedule out emails during busy times. It's really self-explanatory, really straightforward. Um, if you have any new promotions coming up, anything you need to let affiliates know about, you can schedule a date and a time for your emails to be released, um, especially in the fourth quarter, around Christmas time, right after Thanksgiving. 
Um, this stuff gets really important because it might not be on the top of your priority list, so make sure you can schedule your emails out beforehand. So let's go over a quick conclusion over all of this. Uh, content is by far the most important thing. Absolutely make sure you have new promos in your emails and include uh, your promo tags and your um, email tags. Uh, you can email all affiliates, specific groups, or individuals based on the content of your email. And finally, schedule your emails out during the busy part of the year. And that should about wrap it up for the screencast. If you have any questions, support at email, or I'm sorry, support at avantlink.com, or you can look at your screencast series uh, for all of this stuff in uh, your support section of your AvantLink um, account. And until the next screencast, that should about wrap it up. Thank you, everyone. Good luck.